A student service on the UW campus is in jeopardy tonight. The campus women's center has for the first time been found ineligible for their student funding. And News 3's Emily Roloff has more on why and what happens next. Emily? Well, in order to be eligible for the general student service fund from the Associated Students of Madison, groups must meet certain requirements. In September, the student government determined the women's center does not. After five appeals have been turned down, the center is now scrambling to stay alive. When you know when you come to college, it's really hard to to find a group that you know is like your second family, and I think that's what a lot of us have found here. Here, the Campus Women's Center is an information resource for some, a safe haven for others. Now, those involved are fighting to keep it. We're going to try to hold that together, but it's hard when when you're fighting to justify that you should be able to exist. The CWC has spent the year fighting for that existence after the Associated Students of Madison determined the center didn't meet new criteria to be considered a student service. That they have to be available upon request throughout the year, has to be customizable, has to be available to all students, um, it has to be uh, available without uh, somebody having to be a member of the group. Requirements say a majority of a group's time must be spent on direct student services in order to receive funding. The Campus Women's Center decision was unanimous, um, so the committee uh, clearly felt that the, they didn't meet the direct service requirements. It was just a different interpretation of, of a couple of our child care services that, that we saw them and thought that they were, they were you know, available to all students, um, but the interpretation of the committee was that if you weren't a student parent, then you wouldn't use that service. It's not just future funds the center's losing. Any large purchases made with student funding in the past must now be returned to ASM, including computers, printers, even furniture. It's really disheartening to have all of your work be really easily dismissed, or it seems to us that it was easily dismissed. But the group does have the chance to make some changes and reapply this August, something CWC representatives say is definitely in their future. We'll see. We'll keep, we'll keep fighting. The center has been given a $15,000 operations grant, but that can only be used for things like office supplies. So they're hoping for help from the community in order to continue their work. For ways to help, check out the link on our website, channel3000.com.